Scott Smith, Kyler Dunn, and Matt Collison. Pete, do you want to just start off with an opening statement about the game and then we'll open it up with some questions? Sure. Um, wild at times, but uh, you know, I don't think they're supposed to be easy at this time of year. Um, so I don't think we expected it to. But uh, all the credit to uh, Lehigh for how hard they play, how consistently they just keep coming back at you. They seem to find a way to make a play when they need to, and and you know, really, really uh, uh, stressed us throughout the game. Um, that last few minutes, they, um, you know put in some uh, press riding and things like that. So um, just proud of the guys, the way they dug in. They stuck together. We had some seniors making some big senior plays. Um, it was just really uh, um, really a clear indication of how much these guys want to stay together and, and just keep fighting for each other. So, um, you know, probably a lot of other things to, to pull out of that. But um, I thought it was a great effort and, and a gritty version of us in the fourth quarter, which we've Probably seen a few times. Questions? Scott, tell me about that long distance goal. What'd you see there? I heard Chase Erlin yelling me to shoot, and uh, when my goalie tells me to do something, I just got to listen. So that was it. That was it? Yeah. <laughs> so, what, what kind of adjustments did you make? Because you um, kind of had away with you a little bit there in that first half, but then in the fourth quarter, you dominated. What, what did you see? What changes did you make? I mean, yeah, as the game goes on, you just kind of get more comfortable. I mean, the wing guys played great, and we prepared all week for that. So, I mean, it was just the wing guys all came together and started getting comfortable with ourselves out there. That's basically it. Coach, how much pressure from losing an early face off kind of put you under? Were they able to maintain possession sort of through time setting their offense? Um, yeah, I mean, it's a good question because, yeah, I think in the first quarter, we only had four settled possessions. And then, you know, you get some transition opportunities and you want to go after them, but. You know, we took a shot in the first quarter on a transition, didn't score, and then there's you know one where you know Bo runs over the midline with the ball. It's a four and three. They pick the ball off, trying to throw it back to him. So like some of those little things, like you you can't you can't you know pull the reins in too much and not take advantage of those. The faceoffs really they, they they force you to sometimes overthink those. So I think it, it definitely stressed the guys a little bit more. We have to just focus on playing as you know loose and and still disciplined as we can. It's kind of you know contradictory as that sounds, but. Uh, I think really just believing that if we keep doing what we, we know we can do and, and fighting for each other, like they start to fall our, our way. They start to come, uh, you know, uh, our direction. And, and Tyler, I thought was a great example of that, you know, really struggling at times. I think at one point it was like, I felt like it was like 14-3 or something on faceoffs. And, and, you know, to finish the fourth quarter seven of nine um, and give us that many more pos possessions um, was massive. I mean, we ended up one faceoff under 50%. You know, for a game that didn't feel like it at all, but that fourth quarter really, really swung. Matt, how do you describe the way you feel pressure between your performances in big games and your performances in overtime? Um, you know, I think uh, I think my teammates do a good job of kind of keeping the pressure off of us. You know, we just keep hammering away at you know what we uh, what we work on all week, um, and we talk about it all the time. Our biggest competition is black versus blue. What we see between the lines Monday through Monday through Friday, uh, Sunday through Friday. Um, so when that, you know, when time comes to step up, you know, I know I have six guys on the field and 59 other guys on the sideline who, who have felt that all week with me, and, you know, it's no different. Uh, Coach, after the, the play to start the game and then the, uh, the first quarter, it seemed a bit disjointed and whatnot, um, and then the second, do you feel like the second delay after that was just like, just since it's a sort of still tied, it's like starting the game new? And, yeah, I guess that makes sense. Um, you know, we after we were in here for, you know, what was it, one minute into the second quarter, we'd already had like over an hour and 15 minutes of delays. Um, I thought, you know, just talking about squishing halftime and, you know, being able to just roll right through it. We didn't know if we were going to get other delays, but let's just get the game in. We got plenty of time off. Um, sometimes those things can play to your favor. Sometimes they can take away some momentum if you have them at that point. like. You know, we, it was a little choppy anyway, so I don't know if it really uh, hurt us any more than just gave us a chance to, to go back out there and almost start over. So, yeah, I think probably what you asked is, is correct. Um, you know, at, the, at the end of the day, like, momentum can, can fight both directions for you, but if we could teach our guys to play uh, momentumless and, and, you know, not feel like we need it, like it's a crutch, when you get it, 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 it gets behind you and really puts some wind in your sails. But, um, you know, being able to play against it, you, you got to fight. You got to fight through it. It's tough. Matt, at the game of four straight goals, did you sort of feel them wearing down? What's the difference at the end of, of sort of the game away? 
Um, I didn't necessarily feel them wearing down. I kind of just felt us heating up, you know, like I said earlier, talking about, um, talking about like just keep chipping away at our offense, what we know we're good at, what, you know, what our strengths are, what, you know, keeping it away from what our weaknesses might be. Um, and I don't think it was more of a sense of, I just think it was, you know, us heating up, us being comfortable, us knowing that, you know, I don't want to, I don't want to stop playing with guys like 18 and 30 here, you know, and 22 other seniors and grad students in the, in the locker room, right? So we just fought for more time together. Hey, what was the conversation with the officials after the horn that started that second delay with respect to the dislike goal? Um, before we went in, mm -hmm. um, it was about uh, whether it was reviewable, whether the horn was in time, whether the horn officially counts to stop the game or the whistle, the horn has to inform the whistle to stop the game. Um, mm -hmm. You know, we met about it and during the delay, and then when we came out again, apparently it was back on the table for discussion. So it seemed like we were uh, talking about that one for a while. But at the end of the day, I, you know, credit the refs. They, they made a call. They stuck with it. You know, I, I think it'll probably be a discussion topic going forward about how that works. But um, it was, depending on what side you look at it, unfortunate. Um, but maybe not. So who knows? Any others? Yeah. Uh Scott, obviously Scott Cole was kind of the, the signature um, of their <coughs> offense. How do you describe the game plan? Uh, it seems like you guys were willing to switch off of him, um, but at the same time, obviously, it was the primary time for you. Yeah, I mean, um, obviously credit goes to Coach K and all the guys in the, in the defensive unit. Um, I know Coach K spends endless hours reviewing the game plan and giving us, you know, exactly what we need to do to succeed. And it's also just playing as a unit. You know, we, uh, we try to not – care about matchups and you know we always preach anyone can play anybody so it's just playing as a unit um, continuously talking to each other and I think that's brought us success and we got to stick with that. Any others? Great. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you.